Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Where Is That Notebook? Is it underneath this storage box? Behind this starboard? Or inside this basket? Find out right after these messages. Are you tired of people entering your room unannounced? Are you utterly infuriated that other people are snooping through your stuff without asking? If so, then here are three ways to booby trap your door so that no one enters, and some good advice on hiding your stuff where nobody will find it. Now, let's start off with booby trapping your door. Our traps do not consist of rolling giant boulders down your doorway, but instead are used to find out if somebody has been crossing your thresholds. Let's start off with the doorknob. Take a tiny coin, maybe the size of a dime, something like that, and balance it precariously on a place where even the slightest motion will knock it off. That way, if somebody's been opening or closing your door, you will know because the coin will have fallen on the ground. Next, let's take a look at those desk drawers. Take some string, doesn't really matter what kind, and tie it onto the handles. But make sure to make it really loose of a knot. If you tie the two of them together, then it will give the impression to other people that you are trying to lock the two of them together. That way, if people have been snooping through your drawers, they'll retie it more tightly than you tied it yourself, and you will know that somebody has been snooping through your stuff. Lastly, we have another thing for the door again. Take a tiny slip of paper or tape, something you can attach to the door without much problem. Then, if somebody attempts to open the door, then the tape will come undone, and when they close it again, you will know because it will be loose or have fallen down. Next, let's talk about hiding things that you don't want to be seen by the wrong eyes. If you have something like a journal or diary that you don't want to be seen by the wrong eyes, and for some strange reason you don't have a secret book safe like I do here, then there are lots of other places you can hide it. An important rule of thumb for hiding things around an usually used place is that you should always put it where nobody will tend to look. While hiding in your pocket, it's always great to make sure it's safe. It's not efficient enough, and putting it inside a place like a CD player might harm the CD inside. So to solve that problem, you're going to need to put it in a place where nobody will think to look, but you can leave it there for a long time undisturbed. Maybe a place like a dictionary or in another book. I hope that you guys like this quick little video that I made, just to pass the time. And to show you what I've really been doing these past few days, here's a quick sneak peek at the next upcoming video. Here we go, three, two, one.